Hi, hi, and welcome to Strap a Watch. I'm Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. On today's episode, we're going to be going through some of the straps that I've made recently. I apologize that I haven't been out on YouTube for a couple of weeks. Most of my subscribers and customers would understand that with Oshin O'Malley of the Timeless Watch Channel plugging me as often as he had done over the last few months, I was slammed with orders and they would all come in at once those days that he would plug me. In fact, when there was one day back early April, I had 33 orders come in in one day. And typically, you know, my turnaround time is three to four weeks. It's usually I've got about 20 or so orders in the hopper at any given time. And so you can imagine 84 straps to get out, averaging about eight hours of straps. And most of you also know I'm an audio prostologist. I own and operate a hearing health care clinic along with my wife and son-in-law. So here's a recent picture that we took of our staff. I'm only there about a day and a half a week right now just to get caught up. And I'm finally getting above water. I'm, I'm you know, I'm at that point, but so that's why I didn't put out any shows. And I thought what I would do is just show you, oh, it's only maybe not even 5% of what I put out, but several of the straps that I've recently made, because some of them are really, really cool. And one of which you'll see on a Cartier Ronde uh, Crossier watch. And there's some controversy I just found out from Federico Talks Watches channel about this watch. But the gentleman who owns the watch shipped the watch to me with the deployant to make a new strap for it. And you'll see a little bit of that build out. But other than that, I'm going to go through and show you a bunch of the straps. So I've got my computer here. It's a little bit different of a show today. I'm going to just go through this with you guys. So here we go. The gentleman with the Cartier ordered this in black alligator. And you can see this is a smaller alligator. I just got three of these hides in and I'm using the head area, which I stated recently to me is some of the best uh, skin on an alligator for watch straps. I just, I love the scale patterns. And to me, it, it's just the best piece of the skin of an alligator. You know, you can only use on an alligator skin, the belly area, the head area, the tail, you really can't use on an alligator strap. You just can't. It's just, it's, it's not made to, to, for an alligator strap. Other, other things. I just did a journal cover for Amy. Hi, Amy. Uh, you should be getting that Monday. So here is cutting out the calfskin linings, the Zermatt calfskin from the Haas tannery in France. Just an exceptional. Is this, this calfskin is made specifically for watch track. Exceptional quality, very soft, butter soft, yet super um, robust, and uh, it's going to last a long, long, long time. And this is just a little intermittent here of showing some of the build out that you can see, you know, the forming of this strap. So what it is, you know, these Cartiers, they have basically two point ends for this deployment clasp. The other neat thing is he had ordered this in a gray stitching. Okay, it's it's uh, gray tiger thread. This is 0.8 tiger thread for you leather crafters out there. And so here it is on the watch. So this Cartier Ronde de Crossier, and I'm probably butchering that. You go back, I'm gonna leave a link here for Frederico Talks Watches, and he ended up opening the case back of one of these watches and the movement holder inside the, you know, most Cartiers have a, an open case back that you can see into the movement. Well, this one does not. And he opened one of his friends up and it was the, the, the movement holder was made of plastic. So he just was beside himself. So you can see there where the, you fold those two point ends around. That's how you adjust it. A lot of people that get these Cartiers, they don't know how to adjust these deployments. Probably the easiest uh, adjustable strap and deployment system in the world. It really is. But I think it's a beautiful watch. It's just, man, I couldn't believe that Cartier would do something like this. This right here is Oshin O'Malley Speedy. 
with the brownie. I pulled this off his Instagram page. Please visit his Instagram page. It's it's awesome. And this is uh, you know another customer, of course, wanted the brown strap that Oshin had gotten. And so this is a copy. These are one of my aftermarket Omega Deployant class that I get in stock. I think I've got about two left. I had ordered a dozen of these a while back and they sell like hotcakes. So I never used to do that. I never used to sell any of the accessories. And this is for Giles in the UK. We've become buddies. And this was a tribute to his father who left him that watch and that was his initials in Boston there. So thank you, Giles. And in sticking with uh, the Omega Speedy theme, here's a kind of a tuxedo, black with white stitching, same you know aftermarket deployment. Here's what I call a quadruple black. So black alligator, black stitching, black edging, and black, of course lining and this one man oh boy i think this one turned out really sweet the gentleman ordered this red alligator strap but he asked me to apply some added red dye to it he wanted it a little bit more deeper blood red and boy did it turn out just what he wanted again another one of those deployments and that's some brown uh mid brown uh, tiger thread stitching this one here is for another tiffany Dial wearer, my brother, uh, in the in Piter in South Africa ordered this. Here's his watch. So that was, you know, it's it's a cognac dark brown, Shinky Aikaku shell cordovan. Here it is on his wrist. He took these shots, I think, with his phone. You know, and if you guys ever send me pictures, please turn your phone if you're using your phone horizontal, and it'll and that way. Because these are these vertical shots that I'm having to blow up and then kind of Ken Burns crop into the video. Here's a Datejust and another quadruple black. I just thought it was a great photo, so I included that. And this one right here is my buddy Doug Logan. He was on the show, oh boy, when I first started off. And he loved this Egyptian blue alligator, which by the way, I'm out of stock in. They only tan this about once a year. And it's for his day chest. This was his birthday present that I made for him. And this was actually the wrist shot that he gave me when he put it on his watch, his day chest on his birthday. So pretty cool. And here's a triple blue on a Mont Blanc uh, Star Legacy. It was just an awesome watch, you guys. Isaac, thank you so much for the order. And we had a little issue with uh, sizing. I, I remade him another buckle, and I just tried calling him a little bit ago. Beautiful strap, though. It's just it was a little bit too big. These next shots are for a gentleman out of Pakistan named Akbar. Thank you so much, Akbar. We've gotten to become friends. He sent me a book about his family, and it's for this Blanc Pen uh, 50 Fathoms right here. And this is the Millennium Tan. This one is kind of a golden tan uh, alligator and you can see the buckles that I bought them six of these buckles specialty made in uh, Taiwan so it took about six weeks for those to come in he didn't even know I was actually doing that for him and I did he, he has no idea what I spent on those buckles but I don't care and he ordered a black one of you know this is brown shinky Aikaku and he's only got a six inch wrist with that big watch and he loves it. What a watch collection the gentleman has. So pretty cool. Cherry red, shinky haikaku. He, he ordered, a, like I said, six straps for this one watch. Another kind of a tuxedo. I, I say that because I had a gentleman say, oh, I would never get a black strap with white stitching. It looks like a tuxedo. I think it's classic cool, man. But that's black shinky haikaku. This one, I believe is for a Milgauss. It has Egyptian blue edge paint. And a camel tan, shinky aikaku, white stitching. I think it's gorgeous. That deployment, you can see that brush deployment is beautiful. And a black, quadruple black, shinky aikaku with the diamond pattern that my buddy uh, uh, Alan just, you know, request on his two watches. Became a pretty popular thing. So another speedy build out right here. Another speedy build out. This was for, you know, same same customer but yeah please like subscribe hit the bell notification if you like the channel 
I'm gonna show you one last draft that I just recently made for a gentleman out in San Francisco for a Raymond Weil watch, beautiful watch. Uh, but this is the strap that I made for him. Nearly 28 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 20. And he didn't know this. He asked me, I talked to him on the phone about having a deployment class for it. So I specialty bought this deployment class for this guy. And it is sweet. I think it's gorgeous, very thick. That's the way, you know, that that strap is actually made. Well, listen, I know this wasn't a typical show. God bless you all. And until next time, keep on ticking.